motivated Navy and Marine Corps team. Rear Admiral Gillingham, your Surgeon General here. I'd like to start with a thank you. Your self-discipline, team spirit, and attention to the blocking and tackling of disease prevention measures, like wearing a mask, hand washing, and social distancing is paying off. As I speak, the Navy Marine Corps team has the lowest overall active cases of COVID among active duty personnel, and we remain fully mission capable. Thank you for doing the hard work of applying all that we have learned to protect yourself and your shipmates from this relentless virus as you defend our nation. We can't let our guard down though, especially as we approach flu season this fall. The good news is the same practices that prevent transmission of coronavirus prevent the spread of the flu virus. Make sure to get your flu shot when it becomes available later this fall. With regard to a coronavirus vaccine, DOD has partnered with six civilian companies to accelerate its development and production. Clinical trials necessary to make sure the vaccines are safe and effective are underway. A plan for distributing the vaccine is already being developed. Recognizing the critical role the armed forces play in protecting our country, a high priority will be given to the military. My team and I are participating in this process and we'll get back to you when we have more specific details. In the meantime, thanks to the selflessness of your shipmates who have recovered from the virus and donated COVID convalescent plasma, Navy Medicine has collected almost 2000 units, which contains the antibodies capable of fighting back against the virus for those that are severely ill. Thanks to tremendous collaboration across several naval organizations, this is now being placed on our deployed aircraft carriers and big deck amphibious ships and in our medical treatment facilities. Fortunately, the majority of active duty cases we have treated have been mild, but should you or a family member become seriously ill, your medical team has a potentially very important arrow in its quiver to help defeat this disease. As I conclude, Please take confidence in knowing that my team is burning the midnight oil to make sure the public health guidance you follow and the care you receive is based on the most up-to-date scientific evidence. The women and men of Navy Medicine consider it a privilege to link arms with you as you do the hard, essential work of defending our freedoms. Stay strong and stay safe.